enjoy a good curry any time of the year. But with winter approaching, or for unexpected guests, the super quick curry sure is a winner. You'll be needing four large chicken breasts, a medium sized onion, garlic and ginger paste, vegetable oil, curry powder, chicken stock cube, sugar, tin tomato, and yogurt. We're going to add our two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And while we wait for that to heat, be sure to season your chicken. And once you see that oil start to move around the pan and kind of become somewhat loose, you'll know that it's getting up to temperature. And then we're going to add this to our pan and just move that around and we're gonna let this brown. This pre-cooking and browning of the chicken is what makes this recipe so easy. Once we've set this aside, we'll move on to our sauce, add it back together and your curry's done. So off the heat, this will come. I'm gonna start making that delicious sauce. Again, we'll need two tablespoons of oil. Even though it seems like it's quite a lot of oil, you really do need that oil once you've added your spices as they start to release and really intensify the flavor of what will be your end product. We're gonna add our onions. And into that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of curry powder. We're going to add our garlic and ginger paste. You don't want to add this too early because you don't want it to burn. Once your onions started to soften, those flavors have released, you can really start to smell the curry. We're going to add our chopped tomato and then half a chicken stock cube. Customary usually to dissolve this in boiling water, but in this case, we're gonna crumble it straight in and then let it just simmer away for five minutes as all of those flavors come together and the sauce starts to thicken. So after about five minutes, this is ready to blend. So what you're going to get is a beautiful thick curry sauce. Pop this back onto the heat and we're ready to add our chicken and our yogurt. And you're gonna need a cup of yogurt and we're gonna let that cook for a further 10 to 15 minutes until your chicken's cooked through and all of those flavors have meshed together. And then we'll be ready to plate. Smelling delicious. Our curry is ready. Let's dish. I've used some rice, which I've colored with turmeric and also added some raisins. Just adds that additional vibrancy to the plate. But white, plain, basmati would work as well. A nice, healthy portion of your chicken curry. And then for me, you always need a couple of sides. So a sambal of chopped tomato and onion, which both adds flavor and complements so well. Some toasted coconut. A little bit of chutney, because why not? A healthy handful of coriander. Warm, delicious, perfect for winter.